for outfitters. We rely on the river and the flow of the water for our livelihoods. We can't run boats down a dry riverbed. Sarah Sidwell's business in Moab, Utah, Tag Along Expeditions, depends upon the Colorado River. I think that what happens up here absolutely is going to impact what goes on downstream. We take too much water, there's no water left for downstream. Outdoor recreation activities contribute nearly $6 billion a year to Utah's economy. And many others in the West also rely on the Colorado. 30 million for drinking water and also for farming and industry. But the Colorado's water levels have dropped 35% in the past 10 years. And that shows dramatically downstream. I've always wondered where the river ends up and um, it's kind of sad actually where it ends up. Sidwell is part of a coalition called Protect the Flows. Hundreds of large and small businesses in the Colorado and its tributaries. Some members followed the river to Mexico to see what they hope is not their future. The Department of Interior is now conducting a study on ways to balance the use of the river's water for the next 50 years. Sarah Sidwell and other business leaders say it's important for them and everyone in the basin to get it right. We really need to keep the river running, not using every drop of it that we can. And it's not just for recreation, it's because we need to have healthy ecosystems. Protecting the Colorado's flows, a message they'll share back home and in Washington. I'm Bruce Burkhardt.